Coming up today on YOLO Texas. I know it's pretty sunny out here, but don't let that fool you. It's about 41 degrees outside, but we're jumping in feet first. This is the business boil. You just want to get down to business. You don't want to do any peeling or anything. Holy smokes, that's so good. Wow, you can really you taste. You can taste the chili, but they're, they're not too hot. Join us on our trip across Texas. I hope you're ready for an adventure because we are here in beautiful Granbury, Texas. And although the Christmas holiday has come to an end, the winter season is only beginning and we are here as winter guests and there's still tons to explore, including our sleeping quarters for the night. So come with me, let's take a look. Oh, wow. Wow, this place is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. <laughs> Holy smokes. Erin, nice I'm to meet Cynthia you. I'm Cynthia James, and this is the Almost Heaven Loft on the Granbury Downtown Square. It can hold two people in a, a king-size bed, and we have some beautiful seating and a small kitchen, and then you can even go outside here to uh, have a drink or whatever and listen to all the music in the downtown square. Okay, I have to take a look around and maybe test <laughs> Please, some things do. out. Oh, go for it. <laughs> Another great space. <laughs> Y'all check out our patio. So cool. But Cynthia is not only a wonderful hostess to this Airbnb, she is a talented artist that owns a boutique right downstairs. This is gorgeous, just beautiful. Look at the way that just shines. What makes Granberry so special to come and visit during the winter season? Well, I'm so glad you asked. We just got through with this magical Christmas season, but it just kicks back up for winter. Our winter guest season is where all of our restaurants and our lodging, all of our shopping, they do something special as some kind of a discount or incentive for people to come during the winter season. And so what are some of the popular things that we should do when we're here in Granberry or some of your winter guests should do? Well, the one thing you're going to get to do tomorrow is jump in our lake to kick off this whole season for our goosebump jump. I've so, heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna start us off, but all of our bed and breakfast and all of our hotels are running great specials awesome. to stay multiple nights. Perfect. Perfect. Our shops are putting everything on sale, so it's great for a girlfriend's weekend. And then all of our dining establishments and our bars have something planned too. Um, we stay open late and we have lots of specials, which you'll get to taste your way around Granberry here in a little bit. I like that. So we're, um, it's a lot of fun during January and February. I love it. And so yes, the talk of the town is a little big event that's happening tomorrow. Do you mind uh, explaining and giving us a little bit more details on the event for tomorrow? Absolutely. So we are kicking off this winter tourism season with something called a Goosebump Jump. And that is because we're going to jump into the frigid waters of Lake Granberry. We start at 10 in the morning and we start registering. We have about 200 people coming and many in costume. Okay. And we also have a snow mountain that you'll get to see and you can enter tube in or you can run and jump in. But uh, we are kicking off the winter with this event. So we're really excited. And um, we've been told 100% chance of snow tomorrow. 100% chance of snow tomorrow. 100% chance of In Texas. Of snow in Texas. Oh my goodness. In Granberry on the beach. <laughs> Let's wind up 
nine o'clock somewhere and we're in the right spot at the right time. So please enlighten us about what we have in display right here. You're at the Bull Lion Ranch Wine Shop in Granbury. Yes. We make all of our wines. We grow our wines right outside of town on the ranch. Uh-huh. We've got five wines for you to try and we're gonna try the lighter of the five okay. and work your way up. Okay. You're right now trying our San Giovese. A okay. staple wine of Italy, grows very well in Texas. A light wine, we just bottled this here recently. Wonderful wine. It's a little I spicy think. and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful wine. Awesome. San Giovese is three quarters of the grapes in a Chianti. Okay. An old world Chianti. A Chianti. Right now, you're gonna try our family Chianti, we call Texianti. Texianti, I like that. Right. Nice twist you're on it. You're gonna love that. Gold medal winner, three years in a row at Grape Fest. I like that. Oh, it does. It's my favorite so far. Oh, they're good, great with <laughs> pizza, steak, spaghetti. We love it. We're Italians, we make Italian wine. I like that. Okay. All right, now you're gonna try Montepulciano. Okay. It grows very well on our ranch as well. It has a greater uh, tent to it. I like that, this. Oh, it's wonderful. This is a very smooth wine. Mm -hmm. You're going to love this wine. It smells a, a little sweet. It, very, little it, it, you're going you're gonna to taste a very a, a slightly sweet. The back end smoothness is what you're looking for in that yeah. particular wine. Oh, yeah. Right it there. nailed it. Now, nailed that one. Now, Got that one. Now we're going to try. <laughs> Our Cabernet. Okay. All right, another gold medal winner. All right. And the Lone Star International Wine Competition. Okay. Very good wine right there. You're gonna love that for, for a Cabernet, Texas Cab. Again, all of our grapes are Texas grapes. All of our wines are made from Texas grapes. I don't the know how to describe wine. it. It was like a little party the in the glass. The ladies' wine. That's what we got. <laughs> I liked it. I see why. Oh, I'm so glad. Awesome. All okay. right, now we're going to our Malbec. Look at that color. When you pick Malbec, the juice just runs down your hand. Yeah. It's amazing. You won't, you can't wash your hand for days. I mean, it won't, the purple won't come off. Yeah. Well, you got a new lipstick, yeah. ladies in town. You got the new bold lipstick yeah. in town. I like that. I used to say it a little bit bolder than the others, but it was all the way around. Five stars. Oh, thank you. Before you leave, we want you to try our homemade salamis. Oh, wow. Homemade? Italian salami, homemade. We also have the finest chefs in the area making our desserts. So before you explore Granberry, have a glass of wine, appetizer, desserts, beautiful. That's amore. That's amore. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so Salute. much for having us. Delicious. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Stay right where you are. Our time as winter guests in Granberry continues when Yellow Texas returns right after this commercial break. Keep up with all things Yellow Texas and find out where we're off to next by following along every journey through Instagram. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are exploring the charming small town of Granbury, the most historic small town in the nation. Okay, so I'd say our day in Granberry has been off to a great start. We've done some shopping, checked out our Airbnb, so cool, and had some wine. But now I need to fill my stomach, if you know what I mean. I hear Christina's has some great seafood. So I'm gonna look at the menu, see what they got. Thank you, thank you. What are we I, looking at today? I hear you have excellent seafood, yes, and I couldn't make up my mind. So I'm gonna try your lobster roll and your stuffed salmon. Of course, both excellent choices. Awesome, thank you. Right thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ooh wee. I don't know if I've had a salmon that good before. Comes together perfectly. They know how to do it right here in Christina's. Although everything in Granberry is close in proximity, you can take your experience up a notch by seeing the town by carriage. Here's our uh, carriage for the night. Going to our next destination.
We had a farm in Bluffdale, and it was a goat farm, and we were going to open a raw milk dairy. So um, we decided not to milk goats at 5 a.m., instead go with my dream and make an alcohol. And so we kept the name because all of our products are locally based, um, and then goat, because goats eat anything. We make alcohol out of anything. Really? Yeah, so we really like to use waste products and then turn it into something beautiful. Waste products? Waste. So what type of waste products are we talking about? Well, so our vodka and gin are both made from uh, the waste product made from making cheese, whey. They separate the curds. We get there just in time to suck it out before it goes down the drain. We'll bring it back here to process and make our vodka and gin. Really? Right. Wow. Okay, so this is unique. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So this is called the herd. This is our tasting. Um, so our vodka, rum, and gin. So this one is the vodka. That's our vodka made from cow's milk. Yep. Okay. Not goat's milk, unfortunately, because there's not a dairy around that has enough milk for us to get. Ooh, that's Good. sweet. So vodka is not supposed to have a flavor, but it has a nice sweetness to it coming from the milk. Okay. I wanted to make nice something surprise. you could drink like that, you know, not uh, something you have to mix. So, right. Yeah. Next is our silver rum. So we did a 75% turbinado sugar, which is that sugar in the raw. It has like a brown tinge to it. And then 25% molasses. Um, very smooth going Good. down. Thin. Our gin, I wanted to make a navy strength gin. So it's 114 proof. 114 proof. These are all well done. All well done, and the fact that they're made from waste, it blows my mind how delicious and tasty that is. So thank you to Local Go Distillery. I am nice and warm and toasty, and I'm definitely gonna need that for tomorrow because we have a chilly start to our day. So see y'all, wish me good luck, see you in the morning. Good morning from the annual Goosebump Jump here in Granbury, Texas. Behind me, over a hundred people, including myself, will be jumping into the frigid waters of Lake Granbury. And I know it's pretty sunny out here, but don't let that fool you. It's about 41 degrees outside. So yeah, it's pretty cold, but we're jumping into the new year feet first. Wish me good luck. trying to get some winter activities here in Granbury, Texas, and, uh, and we're inviting people from not only Granbury, but from the Metroplex, anybody in the state of Texas want to come and join us because we're going to make this bigger every year and hopefully the water will be just right to jump in. participants warmed up at the Hilton by hopping into the hot tub. Guests were also invited in for sweet treats and a warm fire. All right, so I can officially say that I survived the goosebump jump. I have this pretty little medal to prove it. All I have to say is if you're looking for something to do during the winter season, come out to Granberry, be their winter guest. They do not disappoint. In the meantime, I'm gonna stay toasty by this fire, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Take a piece of our travels with you. On your next adventure, shop our exclusive store for shirts, mugs, and even masks to celebrate what it means to be a true traveling Texan. Head on over to yolotx.com for all things YOLO Texas. We'll see y'all on the road.